Hello, world! Dave here, you may call me Monday and Joe. Welcome back to Let's Play Penny Arcades on the Rain Slash Christmas of Darkness, Episode 4! <sighs> Remember the reason that I said I needed to, uh, actually take a have the Doctor Missing Number be his own episode? I wasn't kidding. This is a hard, hard battle. There is so much that can go wrong, and it's just that the AI roulette can absolutely screw you here. Just completely completely screw you over if you don't know what you're doing. So we're going to start off with a quick breather to make sure that we can actually get off all the to get off all the buffs and debuffs that are required for this. Uh, actually, while we're at it, speaking of which, and make sure to fire off our interrupters, using only interrupters for interrupts because anything else will just not do enough interrupt, as I've learned very, very quickly here. A forced empathy. I want to make sure that I get that off as soon as possible here. And, uh... We're going to be spending a lot of early turns just making sure that we have everything required to get going here. A... Yeah, let's use Silhouette. After all, that uh, speed boost... Is, that speed boost attack really requires me to actually get things going here, so... You defend, and hopefully we'll be able to get... Head off all the good stuff right off, right off the bat here. So, let's see here. Friendship, and now that we have this going, a quick taunt just to make sure. I think I, I think we'll be able to actually do the bulk of the damage with Anoetsu side here. Anoetsu. There we go. That's actually doing about the amount of damage I was looking for here. Although I might want to actually throw in a couple other things here. I really want to make sure that this guy takes that this guy's turns come as slowly as possible because this is going to be absolutely critical to maximizing our damage here. Poor bastard is just gonna be... This guy is di is ridiculously difficult to an extreme that I can't even fathom here, so let's go get some buffs on our ninja, and... Let's see here, I already got Dust Cloud going, I should probably call Skeleton, and then eventually I'm gonna switch out the Dust Bunny for something else here. But really, what's going to be required here is just lots of care, making sure that I get everything off just in time here. Uh, an interrupter. Hopefully, that... yeah, there we go. Like I said, re interrupt attacks are just not going to do as enough interrupt. They're slightly nerfed compared to the interrupter, so I'm going to need to use that the interrupter strictly just to make sure that I get everything going here. Uh, I think, yeah, I think one Icker, sh I already have one Icker going, and the problem is that once I switch him out, the speed buff debuff is going to be gone, but, well, we have, we use Silhouette already to kind of buff up our ninja speed, so I guess we'll be fine. I'm switching out uh, dust, the Dust Bunny. What I really want to do with the Dust Bunny is make sure that I can get off multiple, is just chain devil, powered up Devil Knuckles against this guy, because it's going to... I does stupid amounts of damage. So let's see. Yeah, I think we'll just uh, switch out the Dust Bunny now. Switch out the Dust Bunny for... Uh, well, we'll start with uh, Mr. Beaks, and then we'll work from there. So with this in mind, another uh, another friendship, just to make sure that everyone has, every has all their good stuff going here. Am I going to have to use another Interrupter? I don't think I'll be able to get it off an interrupt any other time here, so... Yeah, let's use the interrupter. Hopefully this should be sufficient to stall in here. That's really all I need is to stall, stall, stall. Because this bastard, like I said, if I haven't stated it, I cannot overstate this enough, this bastard does pay a lot of damage. I kind of don't want to have ninja, the ninja be doing all the interrupters, the, use all the interrupters, though, but looks like I'll have to. There we go. Interrupters are starting to lose their luster here. Starting to. One last interrupter, and then I think our ninja can actually start attacking again. Attack all. Uh, this does more damage.
So now that we have this going, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some de get some our damage actually rolling here. Power up Devil Knuckle, and that should be that is really what I'm looking for here. Powered up Devil Knuckles. Ouch. Hug the Toad. Powered up Devil Knuckle is probably going to be the bulk of our damage, honestly. So let's see here. A another Anoetsu. I mean, I'd like to think that the ninja could will be doing all the damage, but let's be realistic here. There's only so much that can be done. Uh, let's make sure that Forced Empathy still applies. Anoetsu. And now let's uh, and now let's switch. Again, I'm gonna be needing to be very, very judicious with this. Uh, let's get off another friendship here. Bye bye, Mr. Beaks. Hello, Leviathan. Yeah, Leviathan. And let's just keep going with. Actually, you know what? What we need now is a breather. That way we can actually do something for a turn here. I don't have to keep worrying about what's coming up next. Do I have another interrupter? No, I'm out. Oh well, I guess we'll be just using a regular interrupt here. Uh, but for now, let's just Scorn Strike. A basic attack should do the do the usual interrupt here, and again, power up Devil Knuckle. That is the... That is our damn. That is our order of the day. Powered up, Devil Knuckle. Let's see here. Another Anoetsu. Ah. Well, saw this coming from a mile away, but uh, at least we're prepared for with a nourish on hand. Uh, yeah, this guy is starting to. Once he gets to around 180 percent, 180 percent power. That's when you gotta worry about the uh, array out of bounds. At least that's what I've noticed from my multiple pass attempts. This guy will is absolutely brutal. I do not joke about this. Do not underestimate him. Another Anoetsu. Glad the taunt is still keeping him in check. Uh, another forced empathy in case that wore off after death, and another devil knuckle. We're wearing them down, that's really the important thing here. So let's see here. Another Anoetsu. I think we might actually be able to get something going here. Let's make sure that hug our toad to make sure that he keeps going. And Anoetsu. I'm actually a thousand away from beating him. I mean ten thousand away from beating him. This is actually looking likely. So Let's see here, Anoetsu again, and I kind of want to just, uh, Dark Attacks I know won't do anything against him, though, that's my thing, so let's throw a Molotov. Right about now, I don't think using another switch would be a good idea, so, and a, score a Drain, hopefully. Have I got him? I yes, I actually got him. Woo! This took me five recording. This took me four recording attempts, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. And Leviathan learns Mr. Spick. River sticks and Beaks learns Dread. Scream Cone learns Deep Fried Ice Cream. And oh dear God, look at all this stuff. Merch learns Holy Blast. <whistles> Grouch Upon learns Elemental Mastery. Ah. Uh. All these skills. All the skills. Just all the skills here, and... <sighs> On top of that, we learn have Dr. Missing Number joining our party there. Oh, dear God. Like I said, folks, four att recording attempts to get this to work. Audacity, the Audacity file is stupidly huge, and I have, like, too many spare... Fraps files just sitting around on my external hard drive now because I kind of have to use the external since my computer died. Well, let's just look at all those, uh, look at all the nicely minted level 
30s with all their new skills. Heavy dark magic all. Nice. What's dread? Stun once per battle. Okay. Deep fried ice cream? Heavy aqua and fire magic. <laughs> hey, dual elemental types. That's cool. Merch learned holy blast, so that's obviously heavy holy magic. Gonna have to keep him in mind. Uh, he's... I always... Oh yeah, he's a magic type. I'll probably actually have to start using him just for that uh, heavy... Just for a holy blast. Because seriously, that's... That's pretty effective. I mean... I mean, uh, let's see here. Honestly, the stance thing is probably going to be the weird thing, but, eh. But, yeah. Groucho Pond learns Elemental Mastery, boosts all Elementals 25%, so, you know, even though I use him mainly for Fire, I guess if I have to use Wind, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Gumez. Oh no, it wasn't Dark Touch that he learned. It was Gelatinous Cube. Summons a Gelatinous Cube. I guess that's like Skeleton. Point Spew. Damage based on current cash flow. Well, good thing we're in the end game and cash is going to be abundant, right? 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 Please say right. Star Song. Heavy Magic. One? What? I think that's a typo there. Gabe happens to learn Pulverize, which was the uh, 9 MP ultra, ult of massive ignores damage, probably one hit kill everything skill that we'll never actually use because 9 MP. Has you learned, what was it? Corrosion of all. Wow, that is a nice passive. And Dr. Missing Number is. Oh yeah, he's essentially. He's, he's Dr. Blood, but he has other stuff. So, I guess we can probably go ahead and give... Yeah, this is gonna be... I guess he exists solely for Leviathan now. Although Glitch is gonna be stupid. Although he... Leviathan kind of already has River Sticks. Hmm. But still, Energite is definitely a solid... All at zero MP skill. And just... I mean, probably won't use Akimbo. Probably won't use... I mean, I'll try to... I might use Capomancy. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, Gabe, you're done with him. Missing number? Yeah, let's go with this. Although, although his magic is still quite abysmal. Well, maybe I could rectify that somehow? Do I have anything that could? Well, that's that. <sighs> Finally! So that's all the optional super bosses done. Next episode, we will actually head into Overhell. But, uh, for now, hmm. I think I just want to head down to the Colosseum and maybe buy one thing. I mean, I know I should probably save up for the coin spew, but, eh, I don't know. I don't really use Vendor anymore. Where the hell is the Colosseum? Ah, here it is. Ah, feels good, man. Feels good. So now that we have all this going here, uh, let's see. Something to boost his... Well, I guess... Sword? I don't know. There's, like, nothing that I could actually use for him to actually get any kind of reasonable magic boost. And, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and sell... So the more games and ah. and maybe let's see here. Does there is there anyone that I actually haven't bothered to upgrade in a while? Oh yeah, right. Well, probably. Oh no, I actually got I to. Uh, actually got him already, so... He's already covered. Huh. I guess we're good. Well, unless I wanted to do something to make sure that, uh... Hmm. This is actually kind of bothersome that he's so... supposed to be so good with magic. That he has all these magic skills and just nothing to do with them. Huh. Oh well. Take what you can get, leave the rest behind. 
I could probably actually go ahead and... Th it's actually tempting, though, to maybe throw one of those skill... Let's see. Throw Dr. Missing Number on a character that actually had some very heavy MP skills, but... This is largely magic-centric. Yeah, I guess maybe. I, I could. It's tempting. I mean, what does Jim have that Dr. Missing Number doesn't? Well, all this. But then again, I really don't use any of these with, uh, with Grouch upon, so... Well, Icar... Well, Icar's so good, though. Mm. Icar's so good. Icar just so, so good. Ah, uh, hard to tell. I'll think about it. Until then, everyone. Oh, dear God, can't believe I pulled that off. I'm Dave. Take care. <laughs>